I am Max Payne. My wife and daughter were murdered. It had something to do with the designer drug V. I transferred from the NYPD to the DEA, went undercover to find their killers. I got too close. I was framed for murder. With nothing to lose, I went after the Mafia during the worst winter storm in the century. My first stop was Vinnie Gagnetti, a lowlife in the habit of taking his frustrations out on underage call girls. I left him bleeding in an alley after I'd gotten what I wanted out of him. I met Mona Sachs in a gothic nightclub, Ragnarok. She was a hired killer. We were after the same man, her sister's sadistic husband. I was drawn to her for all the wrong reasons. I made a deal with Vladimir Lem. The Russian was a smooth operator. He helped me get to the mob boss I was after, but I was in over my head. The government was involved. A mystery man called Alfred Woden told me the name of my real enemy, Nicole Horn. Woden and Horn were both members of a secret society, the Inner Circle. She was behind V, behind everything. While working for the DA, my wife had accidentally seen papers that incriminated Horn. Wood promised to take care of the charges against me if I took Horn out. Deputy Chief Jim Brevora of the NYPD was trailing me by the empty shell casings that I left behind. Gunshots made me deaf to the sirens, but they couldn't drown the sobs of my dead wife. Mona sided with me against Horn. She took a bullet for that. Her body disappeared behind closing elevator doors. I killed Horn. I gave myself up to the police. I had enough evidence against Woden to know that he'd keep his promise. I lied to myself that it was over. I was still alive. My loved ones were still dead. It wasn't over. edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. Start two large four IVs, get him to ICU. He's not responding! This guy is a train wreck! We're losing! When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Max, Back off, 
There's a blind spot in my head, a bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. Freeze, NYPD! Found him! You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs was breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. Oh, bullshit. running in circles until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from only the holes grown deeper I tried to run from it, edit it out, 
Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. A fatal choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting. And you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside, drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people! Circle around! Cover all the exits! Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Fan those extra units! Call the Central! We need every available unit here now! I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. I had wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed. A hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out. Back to the job. The NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there. Acknowledge. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while, like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. With no way to deal with the past, I kept my eyes on the road, off the rearview mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. NYPD! Whoa, easy officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait! <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. 
All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess brains and guts and shit. Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. After you, detective. Oh, detective, I've got something for you. Shoot! Masquerading as cleaners. Blood prints, air mags, empty brass. When we're out of here, there won't be a shred of evidence for the cops to find. Just a. The room looked like a gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. Answering machine had a message on it. You've reached Annie Finn. I'm not here right now because I'm building some nasty things that kill. So leave a message after the beep. You have one new message. Sweet Annie. Sorry I couldn't be there as promised, something's come up. Nothing to worry about, but keep an eye out for trespassers. If anything happened to you, anything comes up, just whistle, and I'll be there. You have no new messages. Get out. 
Enough chit chat. Finish her. Wait, the mob guys attacked us. I have no beef with you guys. You took them out. Listen, I work for Vladimir. Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We, we can... NYPD, drop them. Finish her. Oh, God, no. Like all the bad things in my life, it started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. After him! Don't let him get away! more than any storage, but it had been cleaned out. The answering machine had a message on it. Enough chit-chat. Finish her! Wait! The mob guys attacked us! I have no beef with you guys! You took them out! Listen, I work for Vladimir! Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We, we can... NYPD, drop them! Finish her! Oh God, no! Like all the bad things in my life, it started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. After him! Don't let him get away! 